Tito's reflection. Sí. Well, yes, just as you said, my husband, Pablo Gonzalez, Teresita Freelance, he is in Aradon prison uh, in Poland. Uh, he has been there for two years. Uh, he spends in pretrial detention, which is prolonged every three months. They are in a very tough situation in almost inhumane conditions. He's uh, considered a dangerous prisoner, so they don't have isolation and semi-communication, which means he must remain 23 hours inside his cell. He only has one hour to get out, and he must not even let him communicate with his family by phone. In these two years that I have been in prison, we have only been granted two visits. One visit a year, and as I said, no phone call. It's been two years without speaking to his children, let alone the two little ones. Uh, the oldest has only spoken to him once, just like his mother. In these two years of research... I explained here, it says that's a mythical one is here. It helps to help. That investigation, well, in these two years, the authorities just in case, have not presented a single charge against him, not a single accusation of specific criminal acts, a single piece of evidence. He is going to complete two years in prison on the upcoming 28th of February, and till this day, we still don't even have a trial date. The lawyers, they can't access the total of the prosecutor's office actions, so I handed in to... They have not presented the charges or evidence because they don't know exactly what they have to defend. And this hinders the work of the defense. Therefore, Pablo Gonzalez will be defenseless and incommunicado. We make the citizens call so they can support. There is a platform called Free Pablo Gonzalez. Please, we ask for citizen help to be able to achieve freedom of press and defend it to your right. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Fantastic.